Hey guys, Tony Hong here. Uh, did a little weekend fishing. Uh, it's been tough. Uh, you're battling the weather. It's It's been really hot. Um, and a lot of nuisance fish uh, started coming in. So like snappers are around, uh, blowfish are around. Uh, and if you're using gulp like I am, they're just destroying my gulp supply. Uh, I probably wasted about 20 bucks worth of gulp this weekend alone. Um, so, but, but when that does happen, um, I like to use uh, real bait. Uh, 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 small snappers are good, but right here I hook up to uh, a, a small little baby brown sea robin. These are perfect, perfect uh, bait. Uh, you can make strips out of them, and uh, they're one of the best fluke baits out there. Um, uh, one of the you know the good points about these guys is that uh, their skin their skin is so tough that it's almost like uh, putting pork rind you know on on your hook it's just it won't come off um, I'm going to cut it up so if you're kind of uh, weak in the stomach with blood and you know guts and gore or whatever just uh, turn away um, yeah it's gonna it's, it's not gonna be pretty but hey, you know, this is fishing, we're fishermen, you know, this is what we do sometimes. Uh, okay, so, but I cut the, the spine, basically the back of the head. Uh, it's dead. Right now it's, it's dead. Um, and I think it would be cruel to just, I know some guys do it, but I'm just, it's just me. I, I like to kill my, my fish before uh, I fillet them. So, um, I know, you see how my knife is having a hard time. My knife is actually not that dull. It's kind of sharp, but it's, give credit to that to that uh, sea robin skin. It's just really, really tough, almost like leather. So, but you can see that I made two nice strips, one there and on the other side, right there. Uh, just go down, cut down its spine, and down the side. That's tough skin. And then where you get the soft flesh, just go down it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, you could trim it off a little bit later, but I don't like to put a whole lot of meat on it. Uh, you see there's still a lot of meat left on there. You see what I'm doing right there? I poked holes. Uh, I poked holes into the air bladder. I was gonna discard it in the water. Now, if you didn't poke holes in the air bladder, it would be floating. Nobody likes a floater fish passing by. It just, you know, it's just really not nice. Uh, so that way, puncture the air bladder, they'll sink and the crabs will get it. All right, so the rod that I'm using is a Cabela's Tourney Trail, seven foot, medium heavy, fast action. And I have it paired with the um, Quantum Catalyst 40 PTS. Uh, both of these are discontinued. Uh, they have a newer models, of course, but the Catalyst is gone. Um, it's unfortunate. I, lo I love the Catalyst. Um, now I have it with a 20 pound uh, Power Pro Slick, uh, Slick 8, and a 20 pound fluorocarbon. Now I'm changing out the one ounce for a one and a half ounce uh, the water the current is moving a little bit faster so I need to slow I need to put the brakes on so I need to slow it down a little bit uh, if I don't it, it might just be going way too fast and I think uh, a lot of times the fluke they just don't want to you know go super fast after them uh, so just just keep it to the speed that you normally get hits on and it's usually under two miles an hour so uh, so changing weights is really important. I see a lot of people that don't change weights. They just use two ounces all day. It's slack or middle of the you know middle of the tide. It doesn't matter. I, I don't you know you really got to change uh, your sinkers. All right, so I hook up to this uh, fluke. Uh, my second cast with the sea robin strip. Now I'm telling you, I. I've caught 12 inch flukes that fought like they were 18 inches. I've had 24 inch flukes that fought like they were 18 inches. So it's really hard to judge. Just gotta wait until they come up, I suppose, most of the time.
I could uh, eyeball fluke pretty pretty well, um, but I did have to measure this guy. Uh, this guy was a tick over 18. Okay, so I left my cooler in the car. Um, this was about sunset, so the sun's not beating on it. So, and I know I wasn't gonna stay there that long. So. Alright, so that fluke really did a number on my rig. It's tangled and mangled. And uh, you can see there's not much meat left on that strip. It's pretty much gone. Uh, but the fluke took it anyway. And you could blame that uh, with all the snappers and blowfish out there. So I'm getting another strip. And this the strip has just too much meat on it. So I'm going to go back and get my knife in. And clean it up a little bit. You don't want a whole lot of meat on the strip because uh, you want it to move nicely in the water uh, much like uh, Uncle Josh pork rind. And that's really tough skin that I'm, uh, I'm piercing and I'm very confident that it will not come off the, the hook with the hard cast. Uh, I can't I would not be able to do this with spearing and squid I would not be able to cast it like that it would be off the birds would have gotten it Okay, here I go, I'm jigging, and then I feel that weight, and that's it. Once you feel the weight, just set the hook right away. There's no waiting. That's another fluke. It might be all right. I don't know. I think it's also a good idea to keep the fluke in the water when you're retrieving them. Uh, with, if they, if you bring their heads up uh, and they do that crazy head shake, they have a very fast head shake and they could easily spit the hook out. Definitely a short. And this guy decided he liked the gulp shrunk better. Okay, what are you going to do? So anyway, this is it, guys. Uh, this is it for today. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if there's any questions, please put it in the comment box. And for all you subscribers out there, I've only been really consistently on for about two months now. And I've got over 500 subscribers. And I thank you each and every one. Uh, more subscribers I get, the more stuff I would feel obligated to uh, pump out. So thank you very much. And I will see you guys soon. Happy fishing. Take care and be safe.